So what is up everyone? This is Desert Maverick here and we're gonna go over my War of Divisions account. Um, I've been playing since the day it launched. Launched my own guild uh, which uh, it's starting to really flesh out now that I've gotten a lot of the people out that weren't produ producing for the guild. Um, but um, as you can see, I'm up to rank 73 right now, which is pretty high. Um, usually the people that spend more in the game are the ones that are up there in rank. Um, of course, that gets me at a 102 energy at the moment. Um, I farm gil every weekend. Um, I was at about 27,000 or 27 million gil. Um, but I have been leveling up skills like crazy to get the my gil my, my guild's been dropping because of that um, and I'm about 8,000 almost 8,000 Vizior I've been uh, burning a lot of Vizior here lately um, so what we'll do is we'll go in here and um, as you can see my royal rank is 9 um, I kind of have wailed out a little bit in this <laughs> and it takes uh, about 10,000 to get to royal rank nine, uh, 10 um, 10 is the last threshold I really want to push for eventually just because it gives me that extra chocobo expedition party um, and I do get to do two hard quest resets if I really want to push for somebody's uh, shards so I can get six shards a day out of that um, well, let's, uh, let's take a look at the Mog Shop here. We're currently in the Final Fantasy Tactics um, banner and events. And as such, I've been farming a lot of the Tactics medals. Uh, they've been, they pretty much just give these out to you. Um, there shouldn't be any reason to really get Gapgarian shards, so I haven't really bought them because I maxed out Gapgarian just farming the last stage in the first week. Um, I've already bought out all the Ramsa shards, all the Orlando shards. Um, I've bought all of their memories, and I've bought roughly about, I think, 35 of the Nagnarok wrap, crafting recipes. Um, I've bought the Rainbow Fragment of Thought and all three Rainbow Vision Spears you can buy. Um, I'm pretty much just, you know, farming to get fragments now, because you can buy 10 a day. And uh, there are missions that you can do, like multiplayer versions of the EX missions that give you a lot of medals for almost for no almost no uh, energy cost whatsoever. Um, and I don't really farm for this stuff on here because it's not worth it. Just the only thing left really is just farming fragments. Um, I've been trying to get a lot of Orlando, so I've been farming a lot of his shards out of here um, to get him maxed out, and we'll get to see him in a minute. Uh, so let's get out of there. Now let's go into the, the big part everybody's probably eager to look at, which are my units. Um, I have them listed by rarity, and then of course as they go from rarity, they go down in level. So we'll start with my Frederica. My Frederica is my first UR that I went all out for. Um, so she's currently the most developed as far as abilities and her uh, limit break here. So we click here and um, add 133 out of the 200 to get her to her final limit break and get her Victory Ribbon Trustmaster reward. Um, which will probably be very good for the evasion meta that's going to probably come to global soon once we get Katone and people can run Katone and Shadow Links for evasion builds. Um, I've got her Gunner 12, Ninja 9, and Ranger 12 mainly because I wanted Reflex on her uh, for her ability to help help counteract her um, concentration where she loses evasion I do need to get this skill up some more to help lower the evasion loss uh, but she's act I actually like her a lot she's very good in arena as long as she doesn't go doing stupid things like walking up to another melee unit trying to hit a melee unit behind them 
Um, the next one up is Engelbert. He's my other guy that I've been really been focusing on to try and get him up. Just because he's so good in PvP. Uh, <clears throat> I've got 140 out of 160 shards to get him up to his limit break 4. And as you can see, I've been trying to get some of his stats up. I want to get his monk up so that he learns Chakra. Because Chakra is a very good uh, self-sustain skill. Um, his HP here, uh, 3861. In proper formation, he is somewhere around 4600. Um, so very tanky. Ability wise, uh, I've been farming his JP without really spending too much. Um, I've got his saintly cross up, and also one of his other best uh, skills is taunting blade. Where the hell I put it? There it is. Um, taunting blade is a very good skill uh, for damage, um, but of course after. If I put him under Monk, he will lose that ability just to get more sustain from Chakra. Next up, we got Orlando, which I've been really going in on trying to get maxed out. So um, I've got him at Sword Saint 12, Samurai 11, and Knight 11. And I am at 80 out of 200 shards with a little, uh, you know, about a week and a half to go. Uh, to get the rest of his shards, I just need the shop to really start opening him up. But, as such, I've got him pretty stacked up. Um, uh, Attack-wise, he's actually up, up in the, the 700s in, uh, in groups. And his HP is actually somewhere around 3200. Uh, so yeah, tanky boy. Um, next up is Stern. Stern was my go-to guy uh, early. Um, I haven't limit break three them yet, even though I can. The biggest issue is, of course, these little things here. These spheres are incredibly hard to come by unless you're wailing out. Uh, <clears throat> and the biggest problem is to awaken six star, like I have with all these characters here, requires ten of those rainbow sphere shards so rainbow spheres so pretty expensive uh, to six star awaken UR units <clears throat> um, then I have Yerma Yerma I have ready to limit break as well into limit break 4 um, she's got another unit that I kinda wanna build but just taking a back seat to Orlando um, I do kinda want to awaken her uh, to six star eventually as well I have everything I need but like again, I said, it's very expensive. Um, and I also gotta kinda get her job levels up. The biggest problem is farming like the regular memories here, because they don't wanna drop much. Uh, Thank Grid, from the very first event we had, Final Fantasy XIV, I got him to three limit break crystals, um, which is about the best that you can hope for when it comes to uh, unlocking a character um, the, of course the max level that they can get to I believe is 79 with these here um, Ramza which I've been semi working on you get a lot of his stuff throughout the event um, I can limit break him to three and with the shards that are in the shop that I can that I'll eventually buy for six thousand Vizior, um, I'll be able to at least limit break for him. I'm not. I would love to limit break five him, but Orlando is taking the the lead role here. I probably could have him in position with all of the shards that I have been able to see in the shop, um, but unfortunately I haven't really been buying him. I've been waiting for Orlando to show up. Uh, Medina, the very first UR I re-rolled for, um, uh, she kind of taken a back seat because she's not as useful in PvP. Um, she's very useful in PvE, um, but once you get to a point where you don't really need to use her at all the time, um, she kind of takes a back seat. Um, maybe if we get to the point where there's a magic meta like JP has. Uh, she might be a little bit more useful, 
but she's just a complete glass cannon. She's great for her her limit break, but other than that, not truly amazing. Um, Ayaka, I she's taking a back seat because you don't really need healing in this game uh, unless you're doing some meta tanky PvP where she just sits back and she hastes and heals your team. Um, but other than that, never really found a use for her yet. Uh, Rob Horn. Rob Horn was one thing and one thing only. Meditation. He's the only thing I use him for is to raise the bravery of my units. Um, other than that, um, he probably will have a use if we ever get the Final Fantasy 1 uh, raid event. Uh, whenever that comes. If we do get that raid, he'll be really good. Uh, along with uh, Engelbert, uh, Thancred, and Ramza. All four of these are going to be extremely useful units to have for the raid event because the unit is a dark unit and they're all slash characters. So slash light attacks chaining on top of each other will help you clear that raid content all that much faster. Uh, Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh was one of the units I got with my first re-roll, or the, the re-roll uh, that I got with Medina. Um, I wasn't super excited for him because he's a unit that is incredibly hard to get just because everything about him costs double. So his shards and everything else just it costs an extreme amount. Um, if you're dedicated to getting him up there... He's actually a really solid unit, and he's actually the Ragnarok, uh, not the Ragnarok, <laughs> the Excalibur that you got suits him a lot better because he's an attack magic unit, and uh, yeah, it makes him uh, very, very useful. The reason why he's not listed high in tier list is just because of his cost. Uh, Marsuri, I keep getting Marsuri, and I don't know why, but I've gotten her three times so far. Um, Gilgamesh, I've a limit broke. I got him a second time, and then I got uh, during an event where you got ten shards for doing an event. I did nothing but ice to try and get Medina, and I got Gilgamesh four times. Um, Zisha, I just pulled her yesterday. I'm not excited for her, um, even though her trust master is one of the best trust masters in the game. Uh, giving agility and accuracy and defense and then revitalize which restores AP to self which is very useful um, Eileen uh, I've only really just awakened her just to get awakening uh, points towards unlocking rank um, I'm not going to limit break her even though I've gotten her a second time just because these things are so rare uh, but Eileen is only okay right now just because of the current meta of Frederica and Sid. She can kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them because she can resist their attacks. Uh, Mont should be the first MR anybody maxes out. Um, outside of event MRs, which we'll see here in a moment. Um, he should be one of the first units you max out because he's Earth. So he's really good, again, against Frederica's and uh, Sid's. Uh, he's still he's incredibly tanky. Uh, when he's in parties, I believe he's got 3,600 uh, health. Um, and he can do decent damage. And, of course, one of his best attacks being uh, a Killer Blade. Where the hell is it? There, Killer Blade is one of his best attacks. It does an extreme amount of damage. Um, and allows him to uh, attack from a couple of spaces away. Um, another great ability is to put him under uh, Paladin and give him Taunting Blade. Taunting Blade has a ridiculous amount of range and it's a cross amount for large damage and it helps, uh, helps him pull enemies towards him and PvP fights. Very useful. Um, everybody should have him maxed. Uh, Ishtola, uh, my Ishtola's bravery is kind of crap because she's incredibly weak, uh, HP wise. Um, as far as mages goes, she's one of the most efficient, just because she doesn't have a limit break to to blast all of her uh, AP on, 
and uh, her other abilities do some pretty decent damage. But once again, you pretty much just want to get her to get her Trust Master reward unlocked because it's one of the first apps that you're going to be able to get that uh, has a really nice magic stat and get some decent HP on it um, to maybe like give to a Medina or such. Um, but uh, she was super easy to max out from the event for Final Fantasy XIV. Um, next up, Capcarion, which everybody should already have Limit Break 5 by now. Um, <clears throat> at least Limit Break 5 him and get his stuff. That way you can just, if you decide to, he's really good, uh, a good attacking unit. Um, very easy to master so that you can get his Vermilion Blade. Vermilion Blade's not terrible. Um, decent 122 attack and some 5 crit and a little bit of HP. Um, and he's just a uh, straight up all out attacker um, for your team. Especially if you don't have somebody like Stern to be a dark attacker, you can put your points into him. Um, the rest of these aren't really amazing and they're just going to be brief little go overs. Um, but Ryu is a good gunner if you don't have Frederica. Um, he has Thief, which helps him out as uh, his abilities for um, Steal Time uh, and Mug, which is very good uh, for farming uh, Gill Snappers. Uh, Shadow Links, once again, another great unit um, to have. She'll be a part of the Evasion meta, uh, meta later uh, as we get closer to that. Uh, Nasha, not a great tank. You got Mont. Mont is way better. Um, she can like fill a niche as a tank healer with her white mage, but there's better options. Uh, of course, Lilith not great. Vistral. I've pulled a lot of things. Etra. Uh, this is another uh, MR that you could have gotten from events. And another unit that you just straight up limit break five. Um, and just these units are just easy limit breaks. You get limit breaks which help you get your rank up. Uh, Fina. Fina, I want to get maxed out just because her Trust Master is so good. Um, it's a, a bow for uh, attack and magic. It's good on her, but she's not a real amazing unit. Uh, as a bow magic user, uh, she's okay for healing, but she can't really take any punishment. Uh, Ramada? Ramada's another uh, thief unit that can learn Mug. Um, probably since she's the only water unit right now worth investing into until Miranda comes out, which is probably going to be the next UR that I really focus and target on. Um, but she is got Spellblade and Lancer uh, and Thief, and her Thief can learn Mug. I believe it's uh, where is her Mug? There it is. Um, and of course, another good unit to put on a uh, team against the Gill Snappers for farming Gill. Uh, Grace, not great. Lorenzo, not great. Uh, Curry, not great. Katia, not great. Now, here's Marguerite. Marguerite is. There's only one great thing about Marguerite, and that's her Trust Master. Her Trust Master is the only reason why you would want to max her out. And it's because of this. 50, minus 50 casting time reduced and she gives a decent amount of magic and crit rate on her uh, staff. Uh, so that's the only reason why you want to max her out. She is a time mage which is pretty good but the problem is is that you want time mage as a secondary job with a like either a healer like Ayaka can or with like a mage as the uh, as the as the main that way you can get some really powerful magic attacks and you can have the support power of the time mage because if you go time mage main and you decide you want to uh, do like put her as a black mage as her sub she loses the ability to cast haste which is pro the, one of the best support skills in the game to, to be using on your uh, allies um, so pretty much the rest is 
blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, do you, I'm just trying to get them all limit broke so I can get the all of my rank points up. Um, I got that in. Uh, most of my SRs are either four or five limit broke. As you can see here. And then you start to get into the rares, which are four and five limit breaks. And Zazan isn't limit broke so much because you don't get his shards that often, even from pulls. You just got to buy them from the shop, which I haven't been. <laughs> um, but they're pretty cheap to buy. Um, and that's it for units. Um, next up, we'll probably look at Espers. Um, the best espers right now, outside of your summonable ones, are going to be Behemoth and Iron Giant. These are two of the best um, uh, espers that you can have. Um, and usually you're going to want to be doing, especially if you've got two, if you've got two uh, Chocobo Expeditions, you're going to want to be farming light and dark expeditions like I am right now. Because you want to get these guys up really quickly because they help your damage dealers a lot. So if you go into the Esper training board, you'll see they get attack up 3%, attack up 4%, and attack up 8%. That's 15% extra attack. And then for your slashers, you go down evasion... And then slash attack up 3, 3, 4, and 5 for an extra 15%. So your slash attacks are getting an extra 15% damage. Pretty insane. And they both have that same stat line, as you can see here. And I've been working on it here. The only thing... Oh, well, Iron Giant actually gets a better slash up. He gets 17%, not 15 um, outside of that, you kind of want to use espers for whatever they do, they're they very good for. So, like, if you've got a character that's very weak against ice attacks, you want to put marble on him or her or whoever. Um, because you can get ice resistance here and then um, magic attack resistance here. Alright, uh, that's a very quick overview of Espers. Um, next up, and the last part I'll probably show y'all are my vision cards. So, uh, my vision cards here, um, I've gotten a lot of Ifrit. Um, and I've got him two times Awakening. I don't have any more shards for it though. Um, because it takes three summons to get him up there. But he's got a nice 27% uh, attack percentage up there. I don't really have any good fire units, so he just goes on whatever my auxiliary attacker is. Um, I've gotten a couple, a little bit of the House Scion available, which is one of the best cards in the game. Unfortunately, it's limited, and your ability to get it is going to be quite limited in itself. Um, it's very good because of its agility uh, points, agility percentage here, which can get up to like 15% if you max it out. Um, and then I get slash attack plus four uh, on it, so it's good for your slashers. Um, I've gotten Titan. Um, Titan's pretty good for having in your group just for the HP percentage alone. Um, the HP percentage is, is uh, quite a bit when you think about it. So like my uh, Edelbert, for example, has 3600 HP. And if you count in all the other extra stuff that he gets, it puts him at about 4,000 HP. And then you take that 8%, 8 times 4, he has 320 extra HP right there. Or actually, it's 9%, sorry. So it's 9 times 40, which is uh, 450. Uh, so uh, I've gotten you know the Frederica card. It's just really nice for her. Um, I use that on her. Um, this card right here is actually really good too to put in your group. That extra 17 slash attack that I've got from leveling it up uh, is really, really good uh, for your entire party. Um, I've gotten a good chunk of the UR cards outside of the Esper uh, URs. And uh, as you can see, I've got 
um, multiple awakenings on these cards as well. Um, this card is currently in the shop right now. Uh, it is the Job Crystal. Job Crystal is incredibly useful. Plus 41% acquired JP, and it works with the current event going on right now where you get 500 JP a day for doing the quest. That is an incredible amount of extra JP that you could be earning for having it on. And Ramza himself, if he's got this, if you got this crystal in your party, and Ramza with his JP up, he's earning like 1,200 JP on that quest alone. Um, but a lot of these are just got awakened because of the extra bonus for awakening uh, cards. Um, like I said, I do everything I can to try and get rank up. And that is pretty much it. Uh, the overview for my uh, account. Um, as you will see here, I go and look in the missions. So like consuming Vizior. Um, I've consumed over 275,000 Vizior so far. Um, and here's the things that I go for, which are awakening units. You get 200 XP. Uh, ranking speed, this is actually a pretty big boost. At my current level, it takes about two or three of these to gain a rank. Um, limit breaking also helps as well. I'm almost at the max of that for 200. Um, yeah, um, consuming Vizior is what my biggest jumps are. This will probably give me about two ranks. So, yeah, that is the overview of my account. And, uh,. Oh yes, let me take a look at my guild. Um, so my guild has all statues at level 3. We're working on getting bull and the lion statues up. People keep throwing into serpent statues probably because they have these big numbers of things to throw in there because we're not working on it right now. And as you currently go through the monthly things for the guild statues, they give you these things. So people are putting points in there so they can keep up with the amount of uh, points they've been putting in. Like I've got my sub leader here. He's been keeping up as far as uh, contributions to the guild. Um, we're currently 11 and 4. Um, and in silver 3 right now. But... There's the account at a glance. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll catch you all again.